perfect storm. That's three. Groundbreaking, overwhelming, and fulfilling. Privilege, challenge, inspiration. Wild, uh, groundbreaking, and electric. When we started the project, we were maybe 300, 400 people. In the meantime, we have now grown to one and a half thousand. For projects uh, of this scale, we needed, as I already said, five years. And it's, if we calculate in days, is more than 2,000 days or 250 weekends. And up to now, we spend already more than one and one million and six hundred hours. Development of car from uh, scratch is actually a marathon, not a sprint. You work for years, basically, looking just at screens and simulations and data. So you are trying to package the car, work on the aerodynamics, on the crash testing and all of that stuff. And you do thousands of iterations just on screens. Then at some point you have to say, okay, now is the time to start producing tooling and to start producing the first prototypes and so on. So then finally being able to see it in person, like being able to touch and see the car, the parts coming and assembling the car and driving for the first time, that's a big turning point. When you talk about Nevera and the word design, there is many, many things that are included there. And one of them is, of course, engineering, aerodynamic performance, homologation, production technologies, market requirements, performance targets, pedestrian protection, for example, uh, efficiency and aerodynamics, and of course, the aesthetics of it. And everything then is put together and formed into really nice proportions. For me, one of the most important things uh, that, that happened during the, the Nevera development was actually Nevera launch. So we were preparing car for, uh, for months uh, to, to, to get it ready for uh, different journalists. And this moment when we gave cars to, to several journalists uh, for a first test drive and getting their feedback about the car was really very important for us. This is unreal, absolutely unreal. I can't believe that's 260 kph. <laughs> Frig. <laughs> Holy crap. One of the best moments was definitely the day when the company was closed. We had two neveras and uh, track reserved and we took uh, eight engineers uh, and we spent whole day on track and we were driving the nevera only for fun for all of us. And it was after three years of really hard working. But actually the most memorable moment for me was when I think back about it now, was when the parking lock started to work. So for a long time in the early prototypes, we didn't have a parking lock and the car would roll away when you just park it. So I had to find rocks or something or somebody would have to, you know, somehow uh, put something under the tire that the car does move while I hold the brake before getting out of the car, which makes it pretty difficult to test the car uh, in, in, you know, when you're, when you're on your own or somewhere, something like that. And then when for the first time we had the parking lock working, that was like, wow, it's becoming a proper car.